I hope you're primed for some hot legislative action, because here it comes. I'm Todd Book, and this is On the Books. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It has been a busy week. With spring in the air, the guys and the gals at the legislature have been getting busy. With a primary recess looming, there's a rush to knock out some bills. First up is the fast-moving capital budget bill. This $2.4 billion package of projects bill was just introduced last week. It has already been passed by the House and is on its way to the Senate. The governor wants the bill to be passed and signed by April 2nd. At this toward pace, it looks like the legislature will give the governor a happy ending to this bill. In other news, House Bill 261, the bill that modernizes and streamlines the Ohio Court of Claims, has passed both chambers and is on its way to the governor. The OSBA recently spoke with Representative Jim Butler, sponsor of the legislation, and here's what he had to say. House Bill 261 will abolish the Office of Commissioner of the Court of Claims. Uh, this will uh, increase efficiency because magistrates that are already hired by the Court of Claims can handle their caseload. Closer to home, the OSBA's Senate Bill 202, the Control Share Acquisition Act, passed the House without amendment. Nice job, Corporate Law Committee, for preparing such a complicated piece of legislation that passed both the House and the Senate without amendment. That doesn't happen very often. Slowing things down is exactly what the House is doing with the tax provisions of the mid biennium Review. The MBR calls for tax increases to the commercial activity tax and a tax decrease to the personal income tax. Both the House and the Senate have stated they do not want to move too quickly on these matters and want to study them further. They want to get to know them a little bit better. Sounds like the tax provisions of the MBR will be put on simmer until much later in the year. Lastly, if the third grader in your life is a little more irritable than normal, there's a good reason. The third grade reading guarantee and all of its ramifications are now in effect. If the third grader does not receive the necessary score, they cannot be promoted to the fourth grade. The test is given three times a year, the fall, the spring, and in the summer. The last test in the fall, it was reported that one-third of the students did not obtain the necessary score. With the next test coming in April, the heat is really on the third graders. We here at the OSBA are rooting for you guys. That's the word on the square. This is Todd Book with On the Books. Thanks for watching.